In this video, we've got pickups from two boot sales to run through, and I'll also mix in a few sales that we've had as well. Let's get on with it. Hey guys, Ian, the master of pieces here, and in this video we have got two car boot sale hauls to run through together. First up is my usual Saturday morning car boot. Got there pretty early this week, but didn't really hang around. Wasn't too many people there, but even so, still managed to fill two IKEA bags full of stuff. Hopefully there should be a bit of profit when I resell that all on eBay. But the highlight of the weekend was the Sully car boot sale. It's the biggest one in South Wales. It's the first weekend that's been open the whole year and it was amazing. I got there pretty late, still managed to pick up some really nice stuff. I'm just looking at some of it on the floor now. So yeah, we can run through that together later on in the video. But before we hit up any car boot sale pickups, let's run through a few of my recent sales. Right, let's get and pick some orders. First up, let's head into the Transformers box. I still have got a fair few Transformers left, actually. I picked up a huge bundle for, what was it, 100 quid? Can't remember, that was ages ago. I think that, is that the one we're after? That, there he is. This one here, it's an animated Transformer. Look out for them, they seem to do well. This one's called Lockdown. Oh, I, th I think his leg has come off, so I'll have to repair him before I send him out. But that one is sold for 31 pounds plus postage. In this box here, we should have four of these Pokemon battle packs. There's one there, battle figure packs. We've got that one there. We have got this one, this one's quite cute. Espeon. And finally, one tucked in the back there. Oh, there's Pikachu in there, that's cool. Now I bundled all of those four together. I wanted 21 pounds plus postage, took an offer 18 pound 50 plus postage. Next up, we've got another Monster Jam Monster Truck, and these have been ticking over really nicely. The one we sold is just tucked down back there. Look at that. This is called the Ice Cream Man. Really, really cool monster truck that, isn't it? That one is sold for £7.50 plus postage. We have sold an old school Wombo, and I am guessing it is in here. Should be... Nope, not under there. Where is he? There he is. This one is from 1990 and it is Orinoco and it's still got the little tag on him, albeit it is a little bit creased. Still got the tag nonetheless. This Orinoco has gone to port £21 plus postage. Alright, we're going to have to go digging for this one. It is in this box somewhere. Oh, there he is. It's just on the top. Didn't have to go digging at all. This is Stretch Armstrong and I picked this one up from the boot sale. Paid two quid for it. Only went for six pounds plus postage though, because look, it's got a horrible mark on there. Some of the paints come off of his hair. They are, you can see at the top. So what, I picked up for two quid, sold for six pounds plus postage. Not a great amount of money by any stretch of the imagination. Probably the most boring sale you will ever see on any YouTube video. I sold this Sky Lead. It's a TV link, let's not dwell on it. Paid a pound, sold for £10 all in. Quick little computer game sale. On the PlayStation 2, I sold London Racer Police Madness. Paid a pound for this one in the charity shop. It's got the manual inside, and that one went for £5 plus postage. Now into my little box of miscellaneous toys and action figures guarded by this huge jelly baby. In here, I just saw him from the outside, make sure I don't knock that mug over, is Bebop off of Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. There he is. Not a particularly old one. What's it say on the bottom? 2013. Bit of paint coming off of his hair there. I paid 50p in the charity shop for that one and he has sold for £8.50 plus postage. Right, we can get two from this box. First up, coming out the darkness there, sold this incredible Hulk. Only picked this up the other day in a big bundle of stuff for a fiver, and this one is from 2007, and he has sold for £6 plus postage, so that's all my money back already. And the next thing in this box, have a look at this. This is an old Lone Star car transporter. This is from the 1970s. You see Lone Star there? It says made in England. 
and this is going on the global shipping program over to Canada. That's sold for £20 plus postage. Time to get rid of a box of big bulky toys. Let's get that out the way. In this green tub up here we have got just a selection of Paw Patrol bits and pieces. I've just been collecting these as I go around the boot sale, around the charity shop. So in here we have got two large vehicles. That's Chase's police quad thing and then this helicopter and then four little figures and all of those have gone for 13 pounds plus postage now i only picked these up from the charity shop last week and i bet a few of you were thinking why on earth did you buy them it's these lord of the rings books i bought three of them they were a pound each and these are from 1991 and you can tell that by the different graphics and the cover design. But those have sold for £14.50 plus postage within a week. So let's run through some of the bits that I picked up in the boot sale Saturday morning. And if I'm honest with you, it wasn't particularly great. There weren't many sellers there. And that's because I think that the biggest boot sale in South Wales in Sully was on the next day. So I think a lot of people thought, well, I'm not going to bother selling in Splot Market on Saturday morning. Let's go to Sully Sunday. So I got down there about quarter past six-ish. And it usually opens about half six, but you can wander around beforehand. And some of the some of the sellers are up and ready to go. And because of that, I managed to find this first. I found this really cool old school micro machines kind of camper van type thing. Um fold it all out and inside there there is like a big play set. It's not all complete, doesn't have any micro machines with it. Paid four quid for that. It's not in too bad condition. Um, resale value, maybe £15 plus postage, maybe a bit less. Probably shouldn't have picked it up, but I got sapped in by just the nostalgia of it or the Micro Machine sticker. It's going to take up a lot of space in there in it for not really much money, so I hope it goes quick. Um, and, yeah, I then started looking around the rest of it. It was pretty slim pickings. I found a few plushes. So we got Pumba here. This one is from Disneyland Paris, I think it says. Disneyland Resort Paris on the back there. And inside his mouth, let's just get him up there, look. Two little bugs. So he is really, really cute. I only paid three quid for him and he should go for about a tenner plus postage. And the same seller was selling a Care Bear as well. So I got this Care Bear for two quid and that should go for about a tenner plus postage. And then carried on walking around. And by this point, I'd been around everything. And um, literally that is all I found. But then one seller caught my attention and called me over because he saw that I had some teddies under my arm and he said do I want these South Park ones and I did so I picked up this big Kyle here I picked up this big Cartman he's huge isn't he? both of those should go for about 10 to 15 pounds each plus postage and this little Kenny here he's calling cool, it this one doesn't have a tag on unfortunately and someone's written their name in biro on the bottom there um but I got all three of those South Park teddies for a tenner. So if those two, well, South, Kyle, Kyle and Cartman go for 15 each, I don't know, Kenny might go for, what, eight quid plus poaches, something like that. It was worth picking up. There was a little bit of profit in there. And then the same seller then said, am I interested in top trumps? And I don't know how he knew that I was interested in Kyle's top trumps. Never mind. It doesn't matter. But he said I could have this bag. He dragged this bag out the back of his van so that I could have this bag for a fiver. Um, there was one set in here that caught my eye and it is this European football star set here because in here, let's just flick through, should be one of the first Cristiano Ronaldo cards. There he is at the back there. This set was released in 2004. Now the first printed Ronaldo card was, sticker was 2002, card was 2003. So that is a really early example of a Cristiano Ronaldo card and because of that, these sell for about £10 on their own. Maybe a bit more if the demand's there. £10 plus postage. So yeah, I was going to pick all that set up for five quid because I can get a tenner for that one alone. I haven't even looked at the other sets. No idea what's in them. And then actually I did have a phone call from my wife because my son wasn't feeling particularly well this, um, that morning. So she said, can, can I pop back home? And you know what? I was kind of finished with the boot sell anyway. And I always had Sunday to look forward to. So yeah, few pickups there. Not too many. Let's see some more sales. Back down into the dark box we go because we have sold this Doctor Who handheld LCD game type thing. See if I can do it one handed. There we go. 
tested and working. Picked this up at the boot sale, £2.50, sold for £7 plus postage. Nice quick sale that. Now this took some hunting for. Another great example where my sorting system just got a little bit out of control. But we've got a Bop Extreme. That one sold for £21 plus postage. So definitely worth hunting for it. Right, we have sold our first Skylander. Let's try and find him. Oh, there he is at the top there. This is called the Crypt King. And he went for £6 plus postage. Next up, we sold this Jigsaw. 500 piece Honda CB1100R. What a great motorbike that is, eh? We actually did this one. It was a really fun Jigsaw to do. It didn't take too long. And we sold that for £13 plus postage. Now, I cannot believe these have actually sold. We've got a pair of Monster High Dolls. I can't really remember who they are. Well, one of them's called Catherine de Mew. They, they, they're called like Ghoul Chat, something like that. Can't remember, but these are pretty rare, pretty collectible. I've had these listed for 200 days or just over. 40 watches. I had them up for £31 plus postage and I took an offer today, £25 plus postage. So happy they're gone. Should never have bought this one. Didn't make much money at all. This is a Melissa and Doug floor puzzle. I mean, the kids have done it a couple of times, so we've had a little bit of use out of it. Would have paid a pound in the charity shop for that. Sold for £4.50 plus postage. Not particularly great, but good to get that sold. You know, it's quite a chunky box, taking up a fair bit of room. This is quite a cute one. I saw this little Disneyland Paris tin. I got this as part of a poker pickup once upon a time, and that one is sold for £6 plus postage. Quite neat, that. And SpongeBob SquarePants is sold. Would have bought him for 50p, maybe. It was so long ago. I can't remember. A bit like those Monster High dolls. And he's sold for £6 plus postage. And next up, we have got a Dancing Mickey Mouse from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. This, oh, where did I get this? It's a charity shop again, I think. Two pounds, two pound fifty, something like that. Tested, working, and this one's going on the global shipping program to America for eighteen pounds plus postage. You will never believe this one. We sold Marlin, Finding Nemo's Dad. It's a Disney Store exclusive. There's a Disney Store stamp there. You can tell it's Marlin because he's got two fins the same size. And Marlin has gone for £28 plus postage on a global shipping program over to Germany. And finally, we've got a Sony PlayStation 3 6-axis DualShock controller. That has gone for £12 plus postage. Right, let's run through everything I picked up Sunday morning at the Sully Car Boot Sale. But before I do, I want to give a massive shout out to Mike and Aisha, who are the South Wales reseller on YouTube. Um, I've been chatting to them a lot this week just across Instagram about reselling in general and just where the local car boots are because there aren't really many, many near us. And um, they let me know about Sully. And it is the biggest one in South Wales, um, but it was the first time it's been on this week, um, or this whole year actually. And I was really glad I went because it was massive. There must have been 100 cars, probably more, right? There were so many different rows. I didn't count them all, but there was tons and tons of rows. And it took us about two hours to go around the whole thing. But bearing in mind, I was with my wife and my kids, so we did just take it a little bit easy. Um, now it does open at seven o'clock and I know that the South Wales reseller did get there at seven and he was messaging me um, in the morning just saying that quarter past seven he'd already gone back to the car once and filled it up um, and then did another kind of loop around some little bit and they got another bag load by about half seven. I was still in bed by this time so I had a nice lazy morning and we got there at what half past nine quarter to ten no it was ten o'clock it was we got there at ten o'clock and I was thinking right if, if Mike and Aisha has already picked up all this stuff, there is going to be nothing left. It's going to be picked clean. And we went along two or three rows and there was nothing. It was, it was just so much tat, just junk everywhere. And you, you know what it's like, you get, you get along and um, you get along to a certain point and you spend a bit of time there and you think, oh, I haven't bought anything. I just want to buy some of it. So, hey, look, I picked up this mystery machine, little car here, 50p, worth absolutely nothing. 
picked up this Southampton Football Club pair of shorts. They are junior size, um, junior medium, something like that, 50p, worth three quid. Just nothing. Shouldn't have picked them up. Rubbish. Then my son, right, I gave him a pound. I said, you got a pound, you could buy anything from the car boot. It's going to last you all morning. Well, he'd already spent his pound. He found this just absolute junk. Chad Valley Rockstar Guitar. And it's rubbish. It doesn't sell for anything. And it's filled up a ton of space in my bag as well. So I was like, oh, well, there you go. Thanks. And I was just thinking, oh, you know, have I come here too late? But then my wife pulled it out of the bag, right, just like last video. And uh, she found this pair of regatta, though well, they are, they're not in here, they're inside. They're this pair of regatta walking boots. They are a junior size. And these are actually for my son. They only cost a fiver, they're brand new. They'll go for about 15 quid once he's finished with them and I sell them on again. So it gave me a bit of confidence. Actually, there is stuff here. The South Wales reseller has not picked this place dry yet. Um, and yeah, and then I come across these, right? I found this, or these. These pair of Nike Air Jordan little shoes. They're only junior size six, but even so, because they're Jordans, these will probably go for about 15 pounds plus postage for a pound. So they were cool. So I'm starting to get into it. I'm relaxing a little bit. Um, the kids were looking around just some bags of toys and they come across this, or well, these set of rubber, Pokemon bands, paid a pound, there's 10 of them there, and they'll go for about 10 pounds plus postage as a bundle. So yeah, chuffed with them. Uh, what else we find? Um, I found this Scooby-Doo, check him out. The seller wanted two pounds, I offered a pound, and she said yes, because he's been hanging around all morning. Well, the place had only been open a couple of hours, so she obviously wanted to get off. Um, but yeah, he's got his kind of Rocky Balboa outfit, he's an American style boxer, still got his little tag, paid a pound, he should go for about 10 pounds plus postage. And then, right, I just come across a stall that was just me all over. I saw someone on the floor, went to buy it, and then things just started popping out. So what caught my eye on the floor, right, was this pair of Caramore boots. Uh, they're UK size 5, so good lady size, really good condition, no wear on the bottom. Those boots, paid a pound, a pound for them, right. And they'll probably go for about 15 plus postage. I mean, I don't have to squeeze too much out of them because they were so cheap. But when I got to the counter, right, she had a few cars and stuff there, and I found this one here. Not really much value, but it says the Incredible Hulk on the front. It's from 1979. It is a Corgi. Don't know if you can see that there. Mazda car. It should have a cage with the Incredible Hulk on the back. If it had that cage, it would be worth 20 to 30. In this condition, it's worth about a fiver plus postage. Pay 50p for it. That is going up on the shelf next to my rubber Hulk. But this was the bag. This was the bag that I thought would be the best thing I'd pick up in the whole boot set. Because in here is a ton of old farming toys. And you know I've been collecting these farming toys. I like to bundle them up. They always sell really well. And it was just plonked on the table. I guess, you know, it wasn't particularly appealing. No one's going to go up and have a real look into it. So, yeah, there was two, two things in particular that caught my eye and I just bought it. It was only four quid. And I've sifted out the best bits here, right? So, these are the best bits. This caught my eye, right? Corgi. It's old. Anything old that's Corgi and farming sells well. It's a little silo. That'll go for £10 plus postage on its own, just that. And then I saw this other little Corgi tractor here. Look at that. Doesn't look too much. Doesn't look too special, does it? David Brown 1412. Corgi on the bottom. That there will go for about £15 plus postage. This has got tinted windows on it as well. You see that? Tinted windows, that might make it more valuable. The last tinted windows went sold for more, but it was in better condition. Thing with these tractors, if it's got that piece on it, that exhaust pipe there, coming off the top, if that hasn't snapped off, they sell for a lot more. So yeah, really, really cool. So those two caught my eye. I thought four quid and it's definitely got those two in. So happy days. And then when I just got home and started going into it, there was some Britain stuff. So we got this old Britain's tractor here, should have a cab on it, but it come with this little accessory. Now I don't know what that is, it's like some whirl thing, um, but the, it all clips onto the back there and pulls along and that spins. That'll go for about 10 to 15 pounds plus postage as a pair. We have then got this Lone Star tractor here, plus it's got this little plow on it as well. That's a good 10 pounds plus postage together there. We got another little Britain's tractor there oh, he's falling asleep maybe it was not that boring um but that'll go for about a fiver and hey look we got some little core oh i'm not corgi matchbox tractors there just mini ones they'll go as a pair fiver plus postage 
And we got some little Britons kind of, well, we got some little figures. There you go, wow. Well, we got four figures. They'll go for a tenner first postage. And some more cows and horses and sheep and stuff that I will bundle with other Britons farm animals. But I was just thinking, look, this is worth my time coming here. This boot sale by now has been open for seven, eight, nine, six, three and a half hours. And that was still left on the table. So I'm thinking, yeah, there's, there's still some bits here. So I was thinking, that's it. Pick up of the day. Um, but it's not. Spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, keep on going around the boot sale. Found this. Picked this one up actually as a personal thing to read for my kids whenever they go into bed. Uh, Thomas the Tank, the complete collection. These are the old stories. Now brand new, this should be £30. See it on the bottom there? Should I get my finger out of the way? £30. Now, swords. There you go. There's someone who has got, must have a ton of these and he's selling them off cheap as a big like repeat listing. About £4, £4.50 each. Well, that's a large letter easily. Um, so he's not making much, but you must have a, have a ton of them. Once all them clear out, this will go for about £10 plus postage. Uh, we found, what do we find next? Just some sealed books. John Grisham, set of five books. Brand new and sealed. Paid a pound for them. They'll go for about £10 plus postage. Little mini mastermind game. Sold all over the shop on this. Anywhere from £2 to £15. I paid 50p. I'm going to bang straight in the middle. £10 plus postage. Uh, found some football boots actually. Football boots. Adidas Predators. You know I love my Predators. If I see a Predator, it doesn't matter what size, I will buy it. These are Predator Rugby's. Haven't even looked at solds. They're quite small. UK size. Five and a half. Only paid two pounds for them. They're Predators. I'm buying Predators. And then I found these pair of Adidas Copper. These are Copper 18.1s. Look, look at them. They look really, really cool, don't they? Um, solds aren't particularly brilliant. They'll go for a tenner plus postage. But I paid £2 for them as well. Some more Calamore boots. Another pair. Really great condition again. These cost £3. They'll go for £15 plus postage like the other pair. And then, yeah, I found this little Queen mug. Look at that. Quite cool. Doesn't look particularly good quality, mind. You know, I don't know if someone's printed that themselves or made it themselves, but that only cost 50p. So, you know, what? I, I, I was going to get it. And then my son actually found an absolutely cracking deal. He just come up to me with this. Buzz Lightyear. Now, it's not one of the old, old ones. It's not really worth too much. It's worth about a tenner plus postage. But he, but he got it for two quid. It's like, oh, good on you, mate. It's a lot better than that Chad Valley thing. So, yeah, he, he's really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with it. This will sit on his mantelpiece or sit on his uh, chest of drawers, I, I, I should say. And, yeah, he's going to look really cool. But, yeah, that was a good little find. But then, let's get on to the find of the day. I'm just looking through these other bags, make sure I didn't pick anything else up that I want to show you. No, find of the day. And I've been wearing it all video, and it really doesn't fit me. It's plonked on the top of my head. But brand new, right? God, look at that. Brand new, I picked up nine of these Southern Comfort hats. Look at that. They've all got the cardboard um, in there. And by this time, it would have been about half past 11. You could tell that the seller was getting a bit bored. They didn't have too much left. Um, there was a little bit of drizzle in the air, so they wanted to just pack up. Pack up and go. So they said I could have a hat for 50p. 50p. For that really cool Southern Comfort hat. And they had a few hats dotted around the store. So I said, okay, how many hats is there here? And they said, well, i got nine hats. So I said, okay, how much do you want for all of the hats? And she said, four quid. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, if it's 50p a hat, what's that, nine hats, four pound 50. She hadn't really given me much off, has she? So I said, oh, can I have them for three quid? And she was like, no, you can have them for four quid. And I was like, oh, would you want to meet halfway three pound fifty? She's like, no, you can have them for four quid. But you know what? I, I just gave her four quid. Of course I was. Because if you look at sold listings for these Southern Comfort hats, brand new, they go for ten pounds plus postage each. So that four quid I was trying to haggle, that's going to be worth ninety pounds plus postage. That is fine of the day. Well, actually, my wife wants one of them. So where's the, well, the one I was wearing, she can have that one. So I got eight hats. Eight hats. There we are. 80 quid. Four pounds to 80 quid. Fine of the day. Awesome. And um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I will probably go back to Sully next week. Let's see. But Saturday, getting up Saturday morning early doors, getting up Sunday early doors was, yeah, that was a bit of a slog. 
but totally worth it. I, I really enjoyed it. And again, massive shout out to the South Wales reseller. Jump over to their YouTube channel, give them a follow, give them a subscribe. Leave a comment on the latest video because they have gone around the same boot sale as me. Leave a comment on that and saying that the master of pieces sent you over there. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you guys. Bye-bye.